The company I'm working for is 5x5. Five 5x5 five. Five five is an innovation agency. We work with big corporations, uh, mostly traditional corporations, and we help them uh, figure out how to better make, a, make a better use of um, sleeping assets, meaning data, uh, old business sometimes, teams, um, immaterial assets and material assets. And a good way to do that uh, are APIs. So we help them build new products, new services, new, ven new business as well. One of the way we do that is through APIs. And we help them build APIs, APIs as a product as well. And moving from a very traditional business model, like uh, the Fordist AI, uh, we you had like very siloed company, companies, m moving from this model to a platform model, and to build a platform, you might have to build some APIs. Yes, so I don't know if it answers your question. Um, No, no, you, 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 you won't spoil it. Uh, otherwise, I'm as well a, uh, why I was so happy to see some ladies in the room because I'm the co-manager of uh, Starter, which is a, a non-for-profit to promote uh, diversity in tech and women in tech as well. It has been funded by Roxane Varza, now the boss of Station F. Maybe you heard about her. Uh, and uh, I'm always super happy to be among you guys, but there is a lot of <laughs> men in the room each time. And uh, I think that's a shame sometimes. Uh, because, uh, and uh, other funny facts, uh, so who is an engineer in the room? Yeah. People from the business, like business background, okay, less, less so. Uh, and uh, so I work, most of my daily work, working with my clients, I work with uh, architects with engineers there I work uh, my, my job is to help them build APIs designed for a business use case uh, but I'm not an engineer at all <coughs> I've studied at Sciences Po Paris and uh, studied artistry as well and my passion is philosophy uh, but I end up working on APIs and I love it so that's the second fun fact <coughs> another question <laughs> Five minutes. <laughs> uh, and yourself, what's your job? <laughs> what's your, oh yeah. Uh, I'm a product, ma product manager in a, a tech company called Criteo. Uh, oh, it's a very, a very small one. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, looking into platform API topics those days. Okay, good. Maybe you can put some music. Uh, yes, maybe one last thing. Why did I, uh, why did I decide to make a, a mix with product and API? Because uh, I'm always amazed because in, in France we have a, a great, uh, great um, population of engineers. We have a great school and stuff, so we are very good at that. And we have great company as well, like Algolia, building t tools for developers. Uh, but still, there is a. It's difficult to, to to say that we have a great product culture, and I think you will agree with that. It's really difficult to to find a good product manager, uh, and when you know some of them, it's uh, you are super happy. And I, 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 my clients are mostly big corporations, but even on the startup side, most of the time, I'm when I'm engaged with them. I see that even their, their API is a product, mentality is not there yet. Uh, so there is two, two big uh, challenge there because uh, first APIs, which is a, a new way of thinking about uh, your business and uh, the product culture as well. Uh, and there is, I think there is a lot of talents in, in France to make that happen, but the la mayonnaise <laughs> needs to, to, be, to, be, to be done yet.
Il est 58. <rire> non Il y a une deuxième. Il y a une autre, si tu veux. C'est populaire. Mais je suis super heureux de voir que le produit est intéressant pour beaucoup de personnes. Oui. I, I remember maybe my, my first uh, keynote about the APIs. Um, well, the, the, yes, I had quite uh, some folks, but not as many. So I think it's a good sign that uh, we are making it ways. Hi. Do you know where he, where he lived? Do you know where he left the cameraman? No? Il est parti. OK, c'est à dire que je OK. OK. Donc ça veut dire que je peux commencer, on va dire. On va dire que je peux commencer. Hi. Uh, well, welcome everyone. I'm super happy to have you there. Uh, I made a bit uh, a small like uh, survey in the room. And uh, most of them, most of, most of you, you are engineers, apparently. Uh, I was just wanted to make a small disclosure. I'm not an engineer. I studied Sciences Po, so philosophy and artistry. But I'm passionate about APIs. And why, does it, so why is it important for me to tell you that? Because it's part <coughs> of the secret sauce, I think, when working on APIs to build great APIs product, because you need to bring together uh, different brains and uh, I'm sorry guys but it's not only a tech things and you are not the only one um, with the uh, uh, with the right to geek about APIs uh, basically wh what I do is mostly working with the big corporations traditional corporations and they want to become the next platform well they have quite a big cultural and technical depth to do that, but they are willing to do so. And uh, I'm, I love sociology, and most of the time I'm, I'm saying, I could say, based on the definition of an API, who is this guy or who is this lady, but most of the time it's, it's, hey, it's uh, guys in the room. So uh, I do ask this question, and, and there is several, several answers, ranging from the middleware. Hello, welcome to the hub of the digital economy. Uh, as you, we are all talking about APIs, a lot of talking, uh, and uh, the general questions I, I have with uh, my clients is what's the difference between a web service and an API? And we all know that there is a lot of marketing and branding around that. But the, the, the important things to understand is that most of the people still think about APIs as a middleware, as a, a tool a tool, but not a living tool, maybe. Uh, but the growing, the digital economy, the, 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 the economy we are living in, the, the platform economy, the guy who understand that, they are thinking about API this way. APIs are the, uh, they are the cornerstone of the digital economy. Uh, they are used by tech giants, yes, but they are also, they can be used by plenty of other players. Uh, the, the, the API days is sponsored by AFP. Uh, yes, there is many, many use cases that even traditional businesses can, can, can look at to create or recreate their business. Um, and my second question is uh, the one I, I, I work with, my, one of the people I'm working with, my clients, is yes, for me, API is just a product. There is a demand. Mostly the developers. Hello. And there is a price for that. Uh, fortunately, most of the time, we, this part tends to be forgotten at, at the very beginning. Um, 
And this part as well, because uh, when building APIs, very few of them think about building great developer experience. Why this is your this is your only advantage in this economy when you have like big corporations like Google, Facebook spending m m big amounts of money to seduce those developers and building great APIs as well. So yes, you, when you you can be an insurance, you can be a bank, you can be something from the re retail sector. Uh, your new user is a developer as well, and you need to take that into account. Why is that a product? Well, there is a name. There is uh, the APIs inside the container. There is some documentation. There is the term of use. There is, it's a SaaS model. There is a license. So yes, you have to think about your APIs as the, a chair product. And if you disagree, you can raise your hand. <laughs> Um, what is the challenge in this, uh, in this new economy? Is that we are talking about APIs, digital, hashtag, many, many hashtags, uh, but there is, a, a, you, there is no standards, there is, no, there is not a, a single culture of API, there is no standards into, into making an, a, a APIs, even though we are progressing and there is some good practice to follow. But there is people who just, they breathe this uh, new word, and even some of the startups uh, I, have to, I end up working with, they, they are not that great about building API products. And there, there is those traditional companies, existing business, businesses, uh, they are struggling because they have a legacy. Uh, and why, for me, they have to embrace this new, this new way of, uh, of making their business, it's because they, st first they, they seem not to have a choice anymore. And it's also uh, uh, their responsibility to rethink their business model because otherwise we will still have some <coughs> Brexit, some Trump, some gilets gilet jaunes outside. And um, that's why as well I want to, 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 to convey this message, but so you guys, the guys, uh, you geek about that, you know how it works, but it's your duty to explain to those business people, to the to those non-knowing people about uh, this technology, to explain them how does it work, because it's not that difficult to understand, and uh, it's the only way to onboard everything on the same page. Uh, how do you create uh, API as a product culture? First of all, uh, so we are a design agency, so we design first, and then we make. Uh, what we can observe working with the people we are working with is they make first, and then design after, uh, which, can, which can be a lot, of, um, a lot of money wasted, a lot of time wasted as well. Uh, so just listen to him. First, think and, st and, and spend some time to define your problem, uh, and then try to solve it. And APIs might not be the, great, the greatest solution as well to solve it. Um, but yes, so we are talking about APIs. Uh, I would say uh, to go this way, there is four reflex to adopt inside the big organization. Think platform, because if you are building an API, it, 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 it means that you want to be interconnected with several players. So you want to open up. You want, so you will in the end build some A platform, many platform, what, what, who knows. But then think products, because you have exi existing assets, existing know-how, so you, need, you can monetize those and build first successes to onboard people. Um, you have two ways of, think, of thinking about APIs. Why is it so difficult when you are a big company? Because you have already your business, and uh, APIs, it's everything about modularity, about breaks. So you have to think about when you create an API, you have to think, yes, I am building a new brick that someone, some, a developer, a new company will use, happily will use, because you will make money out, out of it. But when you have a, a service or a product already designed and you want to design it through APIs, you need to unbuild all the products. So because there is no API doing everything and there is no business API business. So that's the tough part. You have to go deep and to understand what's, what is the user need and based on the user's need, define what bricks you will need to use from the outside to build and what the, the bricks you will need to unbuild from the bigger service. 
what does make a platform successful? And that's sometimes over, overlooked by the people we are working with. It's, uh, yes, for example, taking, uh, to, we will take a, a, um, an insurance company. We are, I am insured, I'm here, but I'm, I'm, I'm using an app. And the, the insurance company here, what, what they're, who are their first users? They are the developers. And this is a very, it's a paradigm shift for those traditional business because most first, the technical people inside the big organization are not that, that well represented or well uh, um, rewarded sometimes. So, and, but they have to become tech companies as well. And they have to understand that their users are not only the insured one, the, the insured person, but also the developers working with them. Well, you don't, you know, but you, you are already convinced because you are in the room. But this is fantastic when you see this, uh, those, those numbers. Uh, I really, I'm, I'm always ashamed to use this quote for this API because we are just doing tech. Well, it's super fun, but it's all just tech. But if, if you know the quote, it was about racism. Uh, Einstein was talking about racism, but still there is a, a truth to be taken out because most of the time people ask me, but how do we make it happen? How do we succeed building our platform or APIs? And they are really angry at me when I say, well, it's in your mind. You have to decide you are willing to, you have to decide that you are willing to change your culture and that you are willing to empower the people who will work on that and to give them their proper skills. Uh, so, but it's really difficult to, to, to smash those prejudice because in the end, API, it's a usage. It's something you build for a usage, being an internal API, a partner API or an open API. Um, and how do we progress? How do we make it happen? Uh, we use design, our main tools are design tools, designer tools. Because when we think about an API as being an internal API or an external API, we always figure out, so who are doing the others? Because you don't want to reinvent the wheel and there is some APIs out there you might need to use after in the end. So you need to, to, to know that. You need to clarify good use case and not like the the like this, not good use case, like so it can be internal use case and external use case. Define the personas as well internally because you need to create adoption. So you have to take care of your internal users as well. A value proposition and very soon draw some hypothesis about your business model and your pricing because you don't make API just for fun. Yeah, it's fun, but it's not just for fun. It's also because you want to create uh, grow your, ver your revenue and create uh, efficiency, operational efficiency in your business. So you need it, uh, even more to convince the people internally that it's worth it, that they, have, uh, the, uh, they are right to invest their time and their money in that. You need to create that and not saying it will come later. This, I love this video. It's the history of internet, it's really cool, but it's as also a good way of thinking about APIs. I replay it, shit. The internet, the history of internet, it's unbundling. You add uh, AOL, they built a big portal, if you, do, if you remember, like with many, many, many stuff, uh, and plus the internet connection. Uh, Yahoo, it was only the portal, and then Google, it was only the search bar. The search bar. When you are in big organization, taking a, a bank, for example, uh, doing one single product, it's like, woo, a lot of, a, a, a big, big value chain, a, a lot of stuff. And it's really tricky because, in fact, the important thing, important thing is to find what is the search bar. So what is your API inside these big things? Because you don't need everything. Um, and then this is something also um, that people don't think about, but why do you need to onboard your communication, branding and marketing team as well as the legal team, but we will see that later. It's because um, API, 
they are product when you design API as products. I don't know if you attended the session of API and demand, and if you didn't, uh, please go to his website because he, is, he, he just wrote a book about designing APIs. But I mean, an API it's, can be really, really messy and really, really difficult to understand. And, uh, but in the end, everyone should understand it. So we have to think about the microwave. Who knows how it works behind? Like, forget the button, how does it work? No one knows. Yeah. But still, I want to make it a cup of tea. I push the button and it works. So when you design an API, that is, that is, it's really simplistic, but it's a metaphor. <laughs> you have to think about API this way. People using it, maybe they don't know your, your jargon. They don't know your vocabulary, internal vocabulary. They don't know how you think about your product. But the, 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 the third, third party developer who doesn't know about your business, they have to understand they don't have to do the work for you. And you have to market those. I'm always, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm skeptical. But when you go to SF, the les quatre par trois, the the, um, the billboard, thank you. The billboard when you take the to, to, to take the bus or whatever, it's APIs on the on the printing. Uh, so you have to market your APIs internally and externally as well, because if no one knows how to use it and it's there, no one will use it. M most of the time, uh, some of the our clients they ask us to build a portal, a developer portal. They are a bank or a traditional business, and they want to build a portal. But developers, they don't even know that they are building APIs, and why should they come to them uh, using their APIs? So maybe you don't need first a portal or developer portal. You need first to engage with those community already there, already doing great stuff on GitHub and elsewhere on, at ABI days and stuff. And then uh, this is the most tricky part, because when you think about APIs, you, you think about it's for us, it's product. So you need to build your team around those new products. Uh, for the moment, how do, how do they do, do this big company uh, organize? There is the IT department here. There is the le métier, the business line, the marketing, the legal, the c communication and branding. And they work like this, transversely. And it's really painful for them because they have to understand that if they want to build true APIs, they will need to have product teams with different minds in this team, uh, depending on the use case. Uh, and this, this is how they will build those great products. And uh, it's, it's very difficult as a startup to recruit product manager. Uh, you will, and the, it's a big differentiator as well, being a, a big organization for to, to seduce the, your, your next hiring or the people you want to recruit. You have to, to, to show them that if you want to, to recruit good people, great people, you will have to create those new talents, those new job desks. And, and then eventually secured by design. Uh, it's not the API manager or whatever we will take, which what is the, is the best to take care of the security. When when you design your API, you have to to think about how, what will the use, what will be the use of the data on your side, on the side of the the people you are working with as well. And uh, after all the these scandals with Facebook, Facebook and blah blah blah, it's really you, our all have um, our own duty. Uh, shared duty to think about those and to those use and to make them secured. Um, what we say most of the time is that well, this is sociolo sociology. <laughs> sociology. Is what do they uh, sociologists they say that to make something change, you need to have thirty percent at least twenty five thirty percent of the people. Uh, thinking a different way because they, then they stop being minority. So it means if you are really willing to go and to make your company change, you will have to build those 30 people. And not only in the tech, in the tech, uh, the tech teams. So to do a small recap, and maybe we'll have some time for the question this way, uh, you need first to define the product team with someone from the business, someone from the tech, always an executive sponsor because 
you will you will run some through some a uh, lot of obstacles, and you they will be the one uh, helping helping you solve those obstacles. And then you have to define your product. So we say that there is a, a name, there is a value prop. You test it, like you have to go out and test it out to understand what if it if it works or not. Um, you you have some you have some you have a benchmark. You have some segmentation in the end in the end like it's not for everyone because making an api for everyone it doesn't work as well um, and um, and also especially for a big traditional organization but uh, ask yourself how does it contribute to your overall business strategy you have to build a roadmap and you have to figure out some very tricky parts uh, and the technical parts especially on the api style guide because the, most of the time it says many, many, many HPL style guides, but when you want to go to the open, you will need to have an, uh, 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 um, um, a single one. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy, in fact, to, 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 to write it. But when there is very, a lot of stakeholders who disagree, uh, it can be difficult. Uh, then another one, define good metrics. Most of the time, I see, and on the the um, the report you can, and the, the the study you can read, it's all about quantity. How many banks? How many did they? Uh, how many? Uh, how many APIs did they build? Build many. They always say many, but when you go test, let's say there is some room for improvement. Um, so you have to, depending on where you start. Uh, there is some other good metrics to measure and to value with, uh, to the people you need to, to to the people you need to onboard. So it can be brand awareness. It can be uh, it can be like to extend your market reach, uh, but also to introduce some level of automation to do some uh, to, to be more efficient internally to regu reduce costs. So, and each API will have a specific use case and a specific business case in in a way. And then a, a part, which is m highly regarded, disregarded, but it's um, the, you have to, especially for the traditional businesses, but you have to onboard uh, those people because it's really tough for them when you come, the API is there, and you say, well, build a contract now. No, they have to understand what's, what, what, is, what is it for, and, um, and you will need them in your, on your side in the end as well. So thank you very much. And, uh,